morning. I'm Heidi Holstey, Director of Government Affairs for Care Providers of Minnesota, and this is your Inside Scoop. It's been a busy week at the Capitol. I'll talk about that in a moment, but first I want to encourage you all to register for March on the Capitol. The dates this year are March 11th and March 19th. We'll be hosting you at the Kelly Inn, which is located right near the Capitol. It has free parking. The day will include a briefing by Care Providers of Minnesota staff. We also have invited legislative leadership to let you know what's happening from their perspective at the Capitol. And then we'll have lunch. And then you can depart for the Capitol. We're happy to set up meetings with your legislators. So please go to the Care Providers of Minnesota homepage to register for, for this year's March on the Capitol. Additionally, this week, Toby Pearson, Vice President of Advocacy, testified in front of both the House and Senate Budget Committees. Basically, when we provide testimony, what it means is legislators are sitting around a table and they're hearing the concerns that you all have um, delivered by care providers and Minnesota staff. The testimony that Toby gave surrounded the governor's budget, specifically in regard to rate increases for nursing homes and lack thereof, rate, and there are no rate increases for home and community-based service providers. We are concerned that the rate increases that are provided for nursing homes are based on your past report card scores. Toby testified that we would prefer to see a carrot approach, a forward-looking approach, based on your future quality um, commitments. Secondly, the Home and Community-Based Services report card is, is proposed to be developed by the governor, and, we're, and our testimony said that, again, we would like, if that is the case, we would like to see a forward-looking approach and um, we would like to see rate increases more than what are included in the governor's budget. And so we'll be introducing our bill shortly on that that provides a 5% rate increase for nursing homes and um, how elderly waiver. Uh, Toby Pearson also testified about the home care rules that the governor has proposed to put in place. We, ha we as staff and members have been participating in this process of development, it's finally included in the governor's budget, and we were able to highlight a number of our concerns with that proposal. Um, lastly, the governor's, governor's state of the state was last evening, and he focused on his message of, of taxes and budget reform, and his, his whole entire budget he, he claims is reform. And so um, in his, his speech last night, there were a couple of references to long-term care, one being that Minnesota has very high quality, according to some national reports, and secondly, that home and community-based services saves money, and so he has his Reform 2020 proposal that is moving forward, and he anticipates that that will save the state of Minnesota a lot of money. In his State of the State, he also mentioned the expansion of Medicaid for low-income people for their health care coverage, as well as um, the health insurance exchange. We'll be watching both of those issues very closely because they may impact the people that you employ. Thank you.